Ok, Dada. Qui m'a joué à faire aujourd'hui? Maï mouli avec feuille avec mouli. Ok. So, qu'on y a, ou à brasher. Carotte. Carotte. Ou bien épina. Abrasa. Mouli. Après ça, nous avons. Mouli. Fak mouli. Mouli, c'est une sorte de poisson et de salé. Mais il est juste différent vraiment des poissons parce que nous avons toujours eu le Noël. Mais il a de très bon goût. Il va manger à bon goût. Ok. Alright. Donc, on a braché la carotte. Après ça, on a braché qui ça? On a braché l'épinia, on a braché le tomate. Poivron vert, poivron rouge. D'accord. Non. Nous avons l'huile. Après ça, nous avons coco. Voilà. Ok. So now we're going to go rinse the tomato. Pache, il faut que vous lavez. So we just wash the spinach and then we're going to come back. So she's just slicing them into smaller pieces. Now we used about one bag of spinach and about two carrots mm -hmm. for this recipe. So we're just slicing away. Perfecto. Look at this beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to wash it. After that, we're going to finish washing it. We're going to wash it after that. 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 We're going Et puis nous parlons des fruits frais là. Des fruits frais, ça que des fruits frais là. La fruit langue non ça. Les tout petits zo qui la donne. Gotcha, ok. Alright. Voilà. So right now, we have. Citron. Alright. C'est mon citron. Ok. Yeah. Alright, so this is the salted fish. That's called mowu. And right now she's descaling it, and then we have a lime that we're going to use to clean it. So we're taking off any extra scales or anything. And then we have the lime that she's gonna go wash. 
And this is typically um, a dish that is eaten or consumed in the morning for breakfast. Throw that water out, and then we have this. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna take out all of the bones that are found in this fish. Cause you don't want to bite on this while you're eating. Cause it gets a little salt in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a lot of salt and a lot of bones in this, so you want to make sure that you take out. All right, so once you, once you season and marinate your meat and you clean it, you'll then remove all of the salt. So she's taking out all of the bones. Ça a différence là avec un son avec mori. Oh mori, les goûts, il vraiment bon. Des mots qu'on fait, les bons en pile, les bons goûts qui différent. Mais pour nous même c'est un poisson que on fait mori avec lui parce que les bons goûts poisson. Ah ok ok. So I was asking her what is the difference between this fish and the other fish that is called salted herring. And so she's just saying that this particular fish, it has more flavor in a sense. They're both salted, but depending on how you create it or, you know, marinate it, this one is um, flavor wise much better. So she's just slicing. And as she's slicing, she's taking out any bones that she finds. Mm -hmm. Okay, taking out any bones and putting them right here. Sorry, the defifle. Defifle. Where you're just deboning the fish essentially. Taking out the zoo and she's just cutting them. I'm going to put a little bit of lime juice to just kind of clean it.
Okay. Like we have a little bit of a Okay, so we have our cornmeal, which is our, <laughs> which is our maimule. So she's looking for an instrument to measure this in. We're going to put this here. about two about cups of cornmeal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. about two cups of cornmeal. We're gonna move things around. A piece. And we have our a piece. Okay. A piece that is that yes, the light. Mm-hmm. Poivron jaune, mm -hmm. poivron rouge, vert, poireau. C'est tout ça qui blende ensemble, qui vient by a piece. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so for the Ippies, we will post a video on how to make yours, but Ça typically, that's the oil that we're going to be using. Mm -hmm. But typically with the spices, it depends on how you like it. You have onion, garlic, bell peppers, celery, everything. All right, so let's move over on this side. Okay. Just on to me. All right. So in our pot here, we have some ex extra virgin olive oil. And to this, we are going to add the apis. And this needs to cook just to kind of release some of the flavors in there. Just opening it, station style. Cooking up milk that she's pouring. Mm -hmm. yeah. So because the fish is very salty, we're not going to be adding as much salt to it because the salt is already in the fish. All right. So she's going to actually put a little secret recipe, which is, or the secret ingredient, which is a little bit of ranch. It sounds very odd, but it gives uh, food a very uh, flavorful taste. Okay. And we're going to use this liquid seasoning. Okay. All right.
Okay. We're gonna add now the spinach, the carrots, and tomatoes. We're going to add just one Maggie cube. As such. Just to kind of add a little bit of flavor, but to not make it too, too salty. Look at all this simmering. All this goodness. All right, and then we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter, which is cutting here. Okay. All right, and then we're going to add the coconut milk. All right. And then we're going to cover this and let it blend together or boil together, and then we'll be back. So we just added some water. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so pretty much we just added some water. We're going to allow this to, um, to boil. And then once it's um, been boiling for about 10 to 15 minutes, we'll then add the cornmeal. So we are rinsing the cornmeal. We're going to add the cornmeal. Voilà. On a brassé, on ne va pas Okay. Il y a la bouillie pour le vin sèche. Le vin ou vin batli. Tout fait la petit fait petit petit. Et puis pour jusqu'à ce qu'il Et puis tout le monde fait mange. Alright, so we added the cornmeal. And then now it's going to boil until the water has evaporated. And then at that point, we're just going to like beat it slightly and then put it on low. All right. On se lève. Il fait tout ça. Ça veut dire que vous allez utiliser cette recette là. Si vous pas en pile, pas utiliser mon verre, utiliser moi. So we used about two cups of cornmeal and looked at the size of this uh, this pot here. 
and um, it's pretty full so make sure that you um, if you're not a lot of people to use a smaller cup maybe one cup because this cornmeal has grown so we're just stirring now pour qui ça mon bat my moulin pour qu'a vienne pi la col ça que la col là oh on a des quelle col la chambre ah OK 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 si vous voulez qu'on ajoute des fromage dans moment ça OK mais il vraiment c'est coupé là vous voulez goûter non on connaît le bon les gens OK on baisse du fenou tout petit ça fait le même on a coupé OK on a couvé pour 15 minutes encore après c'est parfait c'est parfait